How you doing? Nice to see you. you Henry can join in this event. Thank you so much, Jamal Williams, with the Dominicans. I'm a Dominican American. Thank you for coming. How do you feel about being here today? Oh, this is exciting. This is actually my first time here, but it's my first time citywide. So I'm, as soon as they told me what it was, I said, now I got to come out and make sure we celebrate. Quick question. Um, I have the Dominican community with Detective Familia, the officer that died. There's a lot of things happening right now. How do you feel right now with everything that's happening with the mayor and the city with the, the cops being dosed with water? What's going on there? I mean, are you planning to do anything? I saw you were advocating hard uh, uh, for um, Gardner, the Gardner case tomorrow. I'm pro-police. but. should have been fired a long time ago. Uh, that had nothing to do with, obviously, we spoke out against the water, uh, the, the dousing of the police as well. Um, both of those things can exist at the same time. I am opposed to that felony thing that they're trying to do. Um, the, the problems that we have is that, one, you, you should condemn the water dousing 100%, but you see what happened two days later, there was a accountability that the arrest made. The problem that folks have on the other side is that when something like Donna happened, there's no accountability. Someone was killed on camera, and then the people is still on the force. As a matter of fact, we're not focused on just getting him fired, as opposed to a criminal trial, as opposed to all of the other officers who were there, some of them who lied on an instrument uh, that is a legal document that they, that they submitted to the NYPD. So it's a whole issue we have to continue talking about. I'm concerned because right now, they're going to look at it tomorrow, I believe it is, right? But they might go by the DOJ, didn't find them uh, convicted on anything, and then the uh, they had the trial. Nothing happened. Do you think the NYPD might say, you know, there was no legal balance for that? They might not be able to fire them. Well, it's clear that one, that what he did was illegal. Of course. It violated internal policy. Exactly. So that's what the Department of Trial looks at. I mean, I don't know what to say at this point. They've, they've missed so many opportunities. Uh, I can't tell anybody to hold a breath, but I hope that something is done and I hope that thing is correct. Thank you so much for being in this event. God bless, brother. All right, man. Thank you so much. Henry can join here in the uh, the gala here for the Dominican Republic for 2019. And we have Henry Dominican Williams. Henry Jordan here every year with you, Ms. Gail Brewer. Thank you for this event again. How do you feel again this year about tonight? I love it. I love that the parade committee is raising so much money for scholarships. And I love that people care about that. We have great honorees, tons of people. It's very exciting. And I know the parade will be fabulous. Well, I love it. And we love Deputy Bar President Alvin Padilla. Yes, too. yes, yes, of course. We love Alvin. I'm going to see you in the parade. I was in the Bronx parade and I got the sun on me and it was crazy. It was awesome, but I look forward to the New York City one. I'll be there. I look forward also. Thank, thank you so much. No, thank you for your work and thank you for being so gracious. Thank you so much. Thank God bless, you. all right? God bless. And that was Gail Brewer. She's the Manhattan Borough President. And unfortunately, she's going to be terming out. But we're having a great old time. And, and thank you so much for everybody that has joined. And this is just beautiful. Thank you so much. had a great event so we're about to end now and it's been great and uh, we've spoken to some great people and this is excellent we're going to see each other at the parade there's going to be a lot of people we're going to be walking up and down and we're just going to have a great old time and we're going to see how it is come here gentlemen if you want to come in here I got another friend right here Victor tell us Hugo, your name Victor Hugo Gutierrez a president of the Trabajo 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 jobs 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 but I'm here to make a special announcement we've been working for six years in the House of Representatives in Congress, we have Re House Resolution 72, Siete Do. Call your congressmen, call your people. It gives us Dominican American heritage throughout the United States. So we need you to call your congressman right now. Resolution 72, la resolución 7 de no va a dar el mes de herencia dominicano en 7 de, por favor. Thank you, and we're going to be there in the parade, and we're going to be there united as Dominican, American, and uh, thank you so much, and I look forward to seeing you. We're going to have a great old time. I want to dance some merengue. What do you think about that? That day, I'm going to pull. Un gran abrazo dominicano. I mean, un gran abrazo dominicano. Un dominicano. Para que vean que los dominicanos somos alegres, somos gente, we're just full. Hey, man, I want to dance some merengue.
Benenge on that day there. And I've seen cops there in Benenge. What do you think about Ooh. that? We're going to have some fun that day, man. Yeah, I see you. God Grand bless. Applause, I, God bless the Republic of Dominicana. God bless America. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you so much. You got it. Thank you so much, guys. So we'll end this now. And thank you so much. And we'll see you there at the parade. I'll set, put links on this so you can see it. God bless you. Thanks a lot.